On now to an extremely disturbing case of alleged police overreach that is gaining national attention. In January, New Mexico police officers pulled over David Eckert for a routine traffic stop when he failed to yield to a stop sign. Now, according to a lawsuit filed by Eckert's attorney, the officers then asked him to get out of the car, which he complied with. However, the way that he was standing seemed suspicious to officers. Because he appeared to be clinching his buttocks, police said they believed that he was hiding drugs inside of himself. KOP TV picks up the story from there. According to court records and medical charts, first, doctors x rayed Eckert, then penetrated his rectum with their fingers, then performed another exam with their fingers. Doctors then gave Eckert three enemas and forced him to defecate in front of them while they searched his stool. All of these things done without consent, all of them finding nothing. But it didn't stop there. Doctors performed a second x ray. Then they sedated Eckert, prepared him for surgery, and performed a colonoscopy. Perhaps the most disturbing part of this story is that doctors came up empty handed. No drugs were ultimately discovered. Now, David Eckert is suing the uh, Deming Police Department. For more, I spoke to his attorney, Joseph Kennedy. Here's what he had to say. I wish I understood, and, and it is stunning, and you don't really quite uh, appreciate it until you do read the police reports and have them in front of, front of you and then read the medical reports and see that these, this indeed was done uh, to this, this man. It's, it's stunning to explain, uh, and it's been since the 1950s, the United States Supreme Court has said that internal intrusions into the body, and in that case, it was a, a forced uh, that that is too much like the screw and the rack to be allowed in this country. So it's just unbelievable that this was done to this man. Now, as I understand it, the, war the warrant that they had actually expired at 10 p.m., but doctors still performed the colonoscopy and other procedures after that. Was that legal? And I also heard, and I was hoping that you could clarify something on this, is that the warrant wasn't valid uh, in the county where the hospital was that, that performed these exams? The, well, the, 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 the officers essentially went hospital shopping. Now, the county, they, they did move them from county to county. That is not really the huge issue, but they did go hospital shopping. Is this an isolated incident? Do you have any cases that you know of where this has happened before? Well, we're concerned about this issue. We're particularly concerned about it at the border. Uh, there's an ACLU. The ACLU has a client who, who was given a colonoscopy by Border Patrol. Uh, crossing the border in El Paso. So this is this is popping up a little bit and it's popping up in Texas as well with strip searches of motorists on the side of the road and all sorts of other incredibly invasive procedures. The police seem to be pushing uh, this issue, especially in the border states. Uh, and this, this area of New Mexico is very close to the Mexican border and the officers involved in this are part of a task force. The station also reported that another man, Timothy Young, experienced a similar ordeal after he was stopped for turning uh, without a proper signal. He was reportedly pulled over by the same exact K-9 unit, taken to this Gila uh, Regional Medical Center and subjected to x-rays of his abdomen area and also an anal exam. And again, no drugs were found. So I want to ask you two questions related to that. First of all, what should we make of the fact that this uh, canine unit spotted narcotics wrongly? And second of all, what should we make of the Gila Medical Center that performed both of these allegedly? Well, as the, the first question, the, what we should make of it is this dog is, is much like a family pet. It's not a trained narcotics detection dog. And we're really, we got this dog before we filed a lawsuit and they have no documentation that this dog was properly trained and, and could do this. So, so we have an officer who's misrepresenting facts in a search warrant. And that's a very, very serious offense. That was Joseph Kennedy, an attorney at Kennedy Law.